Okay, so you wanted to know what I was using for a light uh, to shine on the algae turf scrubber on the back of my 29 gallon bio cube. Uh, I pretty much made this acrylic box right here. Again, if you don't have, um, you know, the solvent and a saw, stuff like that to work with acrylic, then you could probably just use, you know, find um, a piece of Tupperware or something from the store or, you know, it would work great actually, maybe, um, maybe the, the bottom part of one of those Chinese food containers. Some people have made the, um, the upflow algae scrubbers with them. You might be able to use it for this too. So basically I made this box. I made this bracket right here out of acrylic too. You know, I used the solvent to attach it all. Uh, this is what will hang it on the back of the bio cube. These are LED grow strip lighting has the blue and the red LEDs, you know, mostly red. It's the best spectrum for growing vegetation. Um, you know, you can cut these LED strips along those lines right there and then reconnect them uh, with these four pin solderless connectors. That's what I did. Um, there's, um, the back side of these LED strips uh, do have tape on them, uh, but when the LEDs get warm, that tape begins to fail after a while. So I got double-sided tape, you know, uh, that the fluffy uh, double-sided tape actually. Well, it's not too fluffy, but, um, and it holds them on there much better. Um, you hear some people say, you know, LEDs need to be on um, some sort of a heat sink. Uh, but the cool thing about LED strip lighting, most of them, almost all of them, do not require an LED heatsink. Uh, I think a heatsink might help the life of them. Uh, but this stuff is so cheap. I mean, they're easy to replace when when they get you know when they start to get dim and start to die out. Um, so I basically, you know, you could tell what I did here, and then. Uh, in the beginning of the uh, of the roll, when you buy the LED strip lighting, it comes in a spool, and on one end of it, it has the um, the power connection. It just has the red and black right here, and it comes all the way around, and it's open ended. So then I bought, I think this is a 5.5 millimeter jack. Now I just drilled a hole in the side. You know, stuck it through, and then you put the cap on and tighten it on to attach it to the wall there. Uh, you can, I, I bought that on eBay also. And I'm pretty sure it's a 5.5 millimeter jack. I think there's also a 5.2. You'll know what you need after you buy your power supply. So this is my power supply. Um, let me see. Here's the power supply. It's upside down. See? So all these require a DC 12 volt, and this is a three amp power supply. Uh, you always wanna make sure you have a minimum of 20% more power out of your power supply than what you're gonna use. Um, I think every meter of the LED strip lights is about one amp, and I barely have, you know, one meter here probably, and so that's a three amp power supply. I, could, I probably could have had more than a little more than double this if I wanted. I couldn't fit any more on here really though. Um, so then when I uh, when I bought that. The power supply, I think in the detailed description, I got this power supply off eBay also. When you buy the power supply, it'll tell you what size um, the male section of this adapter is. And I think it told me it was a, a 5.5 millimeter. And then I bought a female 5.5 millimeter jack. Soldered the power on here. Uh, you'll see the center post 
is the power and that side post right there is the negative. Simple as that. So solder the connection on and voila. We have light. Now see, that this has been running for about a year now. The LEDs on this side are still shining bright. These are starting to get dim. But it was literally like 10 or $15 for a three meter roll. I've just been kind of lazy on replacing these, but even not replacing them, it's still shining bright enough. Um, you can do, you know, regular one, one watt, three watt, I think some people even do five watt LEDs, you know, the little round LEDs. Um, but they definitely require some more knowledge, you know, depending on whether or not you're going to solder them in parallel or in series. And you have to know which power adapter to get. It was just, I found it to be much easier to do this. Um, I think it said for every meter, uh, this was like 12 watts. So like I said, I think I have about maybe one meter here close to it. So 12 watts in LEDs was equivalent to, I don't know, 60 watts of another kind of a bulb. Or... So I mean, it was more than enough. I mean, I, in the other video you saw how I had algae growing on it. It's been doing just fine. And plus it's so close through the glass that it's uh, more than enough. More than enough power. But then you can see with the brackets here. Oops, doing this one-handed here. Made it and slipped on nice. And that's it. If you have any other questions, let me know.